Hi everyone, um, my name is Abel Gray Katoma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a very great plugin that you use in your AutoCAD called the Auto Lips. Uh, you will agree with me that uh, AutoCAD is actually a very great uh, software for detailing because of its flexibility but it takes a very longer time most times to achieve your detailing okay but i have talked about a lot of plugins that actually helps your detailing to actually come out easier and even faster auto Leaves is one of those uh, detailing package that helps you to generate your detailing much more faster the auto Leaves as well does uh, a quick job for you to it will generate your beams for you you can use it to actually generate your beam, your column, your retaining wall, and lots more. I'm going to be taking you through that process uh, right away. I have talked about uh, YQ Arc, most especially as an architect, I would encourage you to actually get this. Uh, we have Auto Rebar, is also a plugin. We have the CAD RC, which is also a very great plugin. Okay, and then there are so many other plugins uh, which I have actually talked about uh on my youtube channel you can go down below the description to find the link to that channel and make sure you keep yourself busy okay so let's say for example and then i type bar 16 for example this bar 16 actually means uh the reinforcement of y16 okay so uh let's say i type bar 20 you are going to see a lot of different uh, in this so if I type bar 20 you can see it's looking bigger than this so if I type bar 12 for example you can see it's looking smaller than this 16 okay so let's so what this actually means is that um, it helps you most especially as a civil engineer to actually come about your structural detailing much more easier and faster you can see by just typing the size of the bar it brings it for me instead of uh, using the normal regular donut we use in the autocad that you have to place a donut and probably shade that particular donut it takes a longer process to achieve that okay so this actually spares you all of that stress okay um, it has some other great features which I'm going to be showing you right away if I come to my docu, no, if I come to my PC, I come here now, under that those here, uh, word lips, nice, you can see here I have for the longitudinal beam, I have for retaining wall, I have for my staircase, so let's come to my longitudinal beam for example, you can see it's in form of an excel sheet, then you are going to see by specifying all the informations I want from my Excel, it will automatically generate the detailing in AutoCAD for me. Amazing, right? So let me take you through that process as you see. Uh, here now, as you can see here, I can specify the number of spans. So if I specify 5 for example, which is here, uh if i take this this way so count the spans that you see here we have one we have two we have three we have four we have five okay so it's it goes in that direction so if i reduce this now to uh let's say three and i type in three okay and i click on enter uh all i need to do is just to take this along you can see one two and three so I have three spans okay so I can also play around you can see here we have the stirrups showing us that is why it uh, we have the the longitudinal bars you can play along with all of them okay and each of this span you can specify the width of each of this span you can see this is six meters span this is four meters span this is four this is 4.5 span this is four meters span you can change all of those informations 
uh, from here okay so whatever settings you do here uh, I can as well even reduce this to one so if I change this to one now and I click on enter now you can see I have just one single span here and I can as well change the name of this beam let's say for example in my design this is beam one now if this is beam one for example all I need to do is click on save file beam so if I click on that save file beam all I need to do is come back to my AutoCAD if I come to my AutoCAD you can see I can just scroll down I will scroll down here I have uh, beam uh, longitudinal section so if I click on beam uh, if I click on this longitudinal section I'll come anywhere around my window and I'm going to drop it so if I drop it here now boom you can see uh, this uh, section has been generated automatically into my AutoCAD uh, for me it's actually a very great plugin which I will encourage every civil engineer to actually get okay so if you get this plugin it helps to actually make your job a, a lot more easier and a lot more faster most especially achieving beams in uh, AutoCAD is, is really 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 time taking it's really really time consuming uh, which uh, for as many of us who are into uh, detailing will agree with me uh, that is actually very very time consuming so that is that uh, it has other great uh, things you can do with the auto lips even as we progress I'm going to be showing you some of those great features uh, that you can actually achieve uh, using your auto lips uh, it has a retaining wall a retaining wall you can see this is for your retaining wall so similarly just like the way we did for our beam once you are done with that you all you need to do is to save once you save you come back to your AutoCAD when you come to your AutoCAD you come to your retaining wall so here you can see we have retaining wall if I click on retaining wall if I click on retaining wall I will just look for anywhere around my window and I will drop it okay it's loading so like you know the YQ app is available the CAD RC uh, 2017 2019 and 2020 they are all very much available right now um, the auto leaves is also very much uh, available okay uh, okay so retailable okay so you can see what we have here but let me come back here let me look at this particular settings what do I have in my settings so everything boils down to your settings anyway so if uh, you can see the number of span in my setting here is just one okay and what do I have here in my AutoCAD file nice so you can see I just have one particular span here so amazing right so you can also play along with it and specify your number of span uh, you specify the thickness of your reinforcement and all of that so once you put all of those informations properly uh, the way you want it to be then you click on uh, save once you save uh, this file you come back to your AutoCAD and you generate it so similarly the way you did for this you can as well do similar for uh, your staircase so it has uh, that of staircase as well where you see the plan and also uh, the cross section of your staircase okay so if you save this uh, and you come to your AutoCAD file here you come to your staircase 
but you will have to check what type of staircase is that you can see we have stairs one we have stairs two so you have to come here and check what this is stairs one okay so if you click on stairs two is going to be generating a, a a different drawing for you okay that is actually not what you have specified you can see this is the stairs two this is the stairs one okay so the stairs two is actually coming from the ground okay uh, this is this is a different pattern from what we have here okay so if this is what i have chosen if i have specified all that i needed you can see i can switch this from top to bottom i can also change uh, the thickness of my reinforcement to whatever size of reinforcement i want to make use of so once i do that and i save this i will come back to my autocad here and then i will come to stairs one if i click on stairs one i'll find anywhere around my window and i'm going to drop that particular staircase so if you already love what you are seeing why not just like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design so uh you can see for my stairs 2 as well uh which we already have a default default settings there so i can as well generate that detail so but like you know you can play around with uh, the settings of each of this your staircase just change them to whatever you want change the thickness of your reinforcement okay once everything is well positioned as the way you want it to look like then you come to your autocad so you do similarly for your retaining wall similar for your staircase and the same way for your retaining wall as well the that of beam it can go up to eight spans okay so for your beam it can go up to eight spans so if you come here you can count the number of spans that are available that this particular auto leaves can help you generate are up to eight so we have one two three four five six seven eight so it can go up to eight different number of spans so once you have your design to be up to eight span then auto leaves can actually help you to accom can accommodate it very much well okay so make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed okay and make sure you subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free just click on the bell icon and uh to get a notification whenever i post videos you see a red down a red button down below uh just look for that red button written subscribe just click on that subscribe and you are subscribed already it's 100 percent free okay and make sure you stay safe make sure you stay blessed thank you